hello hello it is chris raquel and i am back again this is actually the second video in today which is awesome but for a completely different topic today i'm actually gonna go over fragrances so this has become a thing for me now where i'm going through fragrances and they're reminding me of um moments where you can wear them um, I am getting married in less than two months, so I'm really excited about that. And it's causing me to just kind of figure out what type of fragrance will be good for weddings and also other things like date night, um, daytime wear, work, and things like that. So right now I have two different fragrances on. One is on my left wrist, the other is on my right. And this video is a little bit different because... In the other videos, I was just talking about how great the scents were. But in this video, it's actually about the bottle. I'm going to be talking about two fragrances that if you're someone who's really into photos or you plan on capturing some amazing photos for your wedding, um, like getting ready photos, a lot of people take pictures of their shoes and their beautiful wedding shoes with flowers and uh, their wedding invitation. Um, they'll put their rings there and they'll have a perfume bottle, things like that. Things that are, things that surround you beautifying yourself on your wedding day. I think that's nice. So here are the two fragrances. Okay, so I've selected these fragrances, not for their scent, but I am gonna go into that a little bit. It's specifically, um, oh, okay. Sorry, I was just checking the time. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had spoken a lot. It is specifically based on the appearance of the bottle. If you're, and I'll explain why I selected each one of them. If you're into having a gorgeous bottle, then I have those fragrances for you. Um, if you're if you're gonna have a lot of color or you're into a lot of color, there's a fragrance for that. Um, specifically because of the bottle. And then there's a fragrance if you're just into something soft and feminine. I have that feminine. I have that as well. The thing about these fragrances, I I first purchased these fragrances. I believe I didn't purchase them. My mother bought them for me as gifts. I had to have been a teenager, um, like late teens, I think, or I could have been like just starting out in college. Um, so I think late teens. I don't know if it was the early, if I was in my early 20s. I don't think so. It was definitely probably the late teens, like starting college or maybe high school. Um, but yeah, like these these fragrances is so funny. One of them, well, first let me just let you know they're both from Marc Jacobs. One of, uh, Marc Jacobs, I have, I have three fragrances from them and I believe I got into them just based on the very first fragrance that I wanted. And I wanted it strictly based on the bottle. I had no idea what this fragrance smelled like. It's the one that's on my right wrist. I just knew I had to have it. I had to have that bottle. The bottle was gorgeous. I wanted to see it on my dresser. So if you're someone like that, then this is going to be the fragrance for you. I am going to go over the fragrance and you'll see that the fragrance that I'm talking about is, there's a lot left. Um, Just looking at it, I believe I have three-fourths of it it's a very large bottle I'm trying not to show it to you it's, it's so interesting this one looks so much bigger than the other one that's because it's, it's thinner on the side it's just really wide okay I have a 3.4 ounce um so let's I want to talk about the left wrist first but let me talk about this one first this is the one on my right wrist it is Marc Jacobs Lola look how gorgeous this bottle is it just it captivated my attention when I was younger and I had to have it like I said I had no idea what it smelled like you can figure that it probably smells like a rose right it is gorgeous if you're someone who's into bottles and you're just like you know like let's say you're some of these colors are in your wedding that would play a role too even if it's not I can still see this like next to neutral colors next to neutral flowers white flowers pink flowers even um or your neutral shoes but you you know there's a way to play this up you can add some let's say you have like mainly neutral colors like let's say your invitation is kind of neutral your shoes are neutral or white you can play it up by like having some flowers in your picture like some white flowers with maybe one of these colors in it too if that's part of your wedding even if it's not you can definitely capture 
um, you can help match the themes together. Like the, this bottle, which is super colorful and very specifically colored to like a neutral background. Like you can, you can definitely um, kind of like layer things together by, by the flowers if you choose to put flowers in it. Yeah, so this is a beautiful bottle. I love this bottle and my mom got it for me. This is a the 3.4 ounce and I'll go over the fragrance. So if, just keep in mind, the main reason why I'm telling you this would be perfect for your wedding day fragrance is because of the bottle. Like it's gorgeous. If you're into gorgeous bottles, this is one of the two that you should pick. But keep in mind, you can definitely still find this fragrance, but I don't think it's in production anymore. So if you you're captivated by this bottle by looking at it go ahead and try to find it online it is available and i'll try to post the link um okay so i've sprayed this fragrance again i sprayed it earlier in the day and i sprayed it a couple more times after that this is the eau de parfum i believe um yeah it's the eau de parfum eau de parfum eau de parfum spray lola mark jacobs i've had this fragrance for so long uh-huh and it smells okay so this is a fragrance it smells fine it smells good after after time over time is when it starts to smell good as you can see there's so much left i'm gonna be honest getting this as a young lady you're not gonna like it so i yeah now i like it now and I never, I back then I did not like it so much, but I absolutely did not regret my purchase because I love the bottle so much. And there may be a reason why it was discontinued, but over, but fragrances are discontinued over time. This is one of the three Marc Jacobs that I received that I wanted um, during that time frame. I think my mom got all three of them for me, or she might have purchased two two for me, and I got it from someone else as a gift. I think the third one. Um, I'm going over two of them today, so yeah, the other one is Marc Jacobs as well. That's something he's good for bottles. Um, okay, so this set. Uh, so initially, I really did not like it. So it just put me off for years. I've had this fragrance well over 10 years. I don't know if it's been like maybe 15 years. Just based on like me having it at that age, it just was like, nope, it put me off. I just sprayed some now, which is like, uh, now I'm kind of like losing the scent of what was on my wrist because like I said, over time, it smells better. So if you spray it on, it's probably going to put you off a little bit. But once it starts, um, once the time goes on in the day, the scent is much better. Um, so it's like a, uh, it's like a floral scent, I want to say, um, it still smells the same as what it smelled like back then and not saying it smells bad it doesn't this is a good bridal scent you're gonna it smells very unique floral roses i just figured out today that it was that it, that's a rose scent like when i was looking up the picture to do the thumbnail like i just happened to see r rose so i was like oh that's really in there but actually knowing what's in it yep it's rosy mm, i'm trying to like get an idea like what what it reminds me of and like mm, super unique so if you want to send it that no one's gonna smell like you this is it surprisingly this doesn't smell very feminine i don't feminine i don't get like oh this is such a feminine scent like i don't get sweetness in it there's something in it that it's like a little bit bitter, but not in a bad way. It works with the scent. Mm. It's a kind of one dimensional scent. It's not like super complicated, but it's so unique that you would like it. Um, I think there's a little bit of spiciness in it, like a spicy floral. I wouldn't say it's light. Like there's there's depth to it and i don't even want to call it sweet because it's kind of like a more neutral in terms of the sweetness like it's a, a medium sweetness mm, yeah like over time it's when it gets better it's yeah, it has like a spiciness it's um, a more neutral warm a little bit a hint of sweetness and there's that spice and then there's floral but it's not like a feminine floral so if you're looking for something that's floral but 
Um, I don't like calling sense masculine, but... And it's not. This is something, though, if a guy had it on, like, you wouldn't say, like, oh, you smell like a girl. Like, but you would just be like, oh, okay, that's a nice scent. But you wouldn't. It would be kind of hard for you to place whether it's a female scent or a male scent. But it's definitely a female scent. But if a man had it on, you wouldn't be like, you're wearing a, a woman perfume. Yeah, it's that spiciness. Okay, so let me, let me get into... Let's get into what is oops moving around okay let's get into what what they say is in it not what chris says is in it um let me even see if it's discontinued or not right now it's on fragrantica um they have it it was launched in 2009 it was created by Yann Vasnier and Khalees Becker. <laughs> oh, this, this surprises me all the time. Like when I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm right. I know, right? It's weird. I'm definitely not an expert in perfume at all. Top notes are pink pepper, pear, and grapefruit. Pear can be sweet, right? But grapefruit's not so sweet, right? So that makes sense why I, I can't feel like a like super a lot of sweetness. Middle notes are rose. That's the only, I'm telling you, that's the only thing I saw. And I wasn't on this website either. It was a completely different website when I was trying to find a photo for the thumbnail. All I saw was rose because it had like a whole bunch of colors and a whole bunch of different scents. And I was like, oh, not looking, just want the picture. It has rose, peony, geranium. That's the middle notes. Like I said, the top notes are pink, pepper, pear, and grapefruit. The thing that I was smelling in it, I know what it is now because it's telling me that the base note is vanilla, musk, and tonka bean. That was that warmth, that warmth that I couldn't describe. And I was saying it's kind of one-dimensional, but like there was something in there I couldn't place. And smelling it now, I don't think it smells like vanilla. It's not a vanilla scent, but yeah. Oh, so, that's so cool. It's spicy, I said, which is that pink pepper. I said that it's there's some, what did I say? It's like a medium sweetness, I said. Like I said, it wasn't super sweet. So that gives you a good idea. Um, it was launched on the market in August 20, 2009. Um, Carly Claus, I think that's a model. She was the face of the perfume. It's available in 30, 50, 100 ml. I have the 100 ml, which is the 3.4 ounce. As well as solid perfume. They had it in a ring, body cream, bath, and lotion. That is so interesting. I totally forgot that they had rings, like fragrance rings back then. I think that they caught up. Not Marc Jacobs, just saying in general. I remember that was kind of a thing. Let me see if I can find Lola Marc Jacobs perf um, ring. Solid perfume. Just as I imagine. It looks exactly like the top. It's gorgeous. I would recommend you look it up. Like Look up um, Lola Marc Jacobs solid perfume ring that that is cute that is like beautiful fashion jewelry let me see when it was discontinued i think it's discontinued at least but it's available other places for sure i'll say it's out of production right right now it's selling on ebay for 170 dollars so yeah, it's probably discontinued if it's at that price. It's one twenty five dollars used, one hundred and ten from another seller on eBay, one hundred twenty four ninety nine, another seller on eBay. Oh, the uh, the smaller size bottles, which I haven't had the opportunity to have, they're actually, I would say the smaller bottle might look even better. Um, it is like it's taller. I think it's taller, but it's like thinner. It's like. It's like if you just cut this part off, right? So it's like thinner, like a, a more, um, like a longer one instead of wide like this one. So maybe one third in the center, okay? In terms of the thickness, and then it has a smaller top. It doesn't have, looks like all, the whole top is red and it probably has, yeah, all the top is red and I don't think there's green, but it's a very beautiful bottle. 
highly recommend if that's something you're going for you want something spicy unique um it, it is a pretty scent so i don't want you to, to be thrown off and think i'm saying it doesn't smell good it really does it just at that age it kind of put me off because i was like it was a unique unique scent i had never smelled before and like i said like now that i spray it now and i let it stay on my arm like it it smells nice mm, it's unique um I'm honestly going to start wearing it because you can see I have, I stopped wearing it, but I highly recommend this one. Um, in terms of aesthetic and this is one, one of the two fragrances you should definitely get if you're going based on the bottle. That is the one reason why this is a set I love. The reason why I was kind of like, I don't want to work for my wedding is because it, the bottle is like so basic the bottle is not pretty mind you i think it has like a neutral and pink colors i'm thinking of i'll tell you what it is it's gucci bloom it smells great super floral perfect one a, a great wedding scent the bottle is like whack <laughs> so i'm like oh we'll see right i might end up might end up getting it there's two fragrances that i'm gonna go over and think i'm gonna go talk you through it tomorrow um I have those and I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I may return one of them and like have one as the wedding fragrance because I'm, I'm, Gucci Bloom is still in the back of my head. But back to these two that I'm talking about. So yeah, you get a general idea. Um, I just wanted to know if it was discontinued. Um, Saying Britain's Advertising Standards Authority ruled that the print advertisement for the fragrance was irresponsible and likely to cause serious offense. I'm sorry. I'm so interested. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to waste time. I just, I need to figure out what this is about. Um, The ad features Fanning, who is Dakota Fanning, Posing in a pink polka dot dress with an oversized bottle of the Old Lola fragrance resting in her lap. This is probably not this fragrance then. Because this is just Lola. This ASA, which argued that it portrayed the young model in a sexualized manner, received four complaints about the ad after it appeared in magazines in August. Okay, that's a different fragrance. Let me, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I'll do this very quickly trying to see what is Old Lola. Oh, oh Lola. Oh my gosh. Oh Lola is so beautiful. I wish I could show you, but I cannot. It looks exactly like this fragrance. Um this up here is like is a deep pink color. This the second section here is a light pink color. And then this is like that deep pink color again. And this is like a lighter green. Gorgeous. Highly recommend you try the one. Like I said, I did not try this. But yeah, try that bottle as well. But this one actually is better. Yeah, this one's better. But look up Oh Lola. All right, so back to what I was saying about Lola being discontinued. It was discontinued. I don't know. I just feel, it's it's definitely discontinued. Um, someone I posted on Facebook in on November seventeenth, twenty twenty. 2012 is Lola discontinued is that just a horrible rumor as it's my favorite set and old oh, Lola just doesn't smell the same um so yeah I think it was definitely discontinued sorry but yeah great fragrance I would rate it I feel like there's a scent for any occasion. There's, set, there's a scent for so many different occasions. So I can't see myself rating a fragrance low unless it actually smelled horrible. I would say this fragrance smells great. It is wonderful for your wedding because it smells unique. Um, I don't know if it smells dated, but it does not. It, it definitely doesn't smell like the modern scents like that are all about sweetness, floral. Honestly, I may end up purchasing the solid perfume ring just because it, it's really cute perfect fashion jewelry mm. yeah i would rate this for a wedding fragrance just based on the bottle i would give it a 10 out of 10 um if you're basing it just on 
yeah because i feel like a fragrance it goes it's scent and bottle right bottle design 10 out of 10 perfume scent inside depends on what you need it for um it could be a 10 out of 10 for a date night and a 10 out of 10 if you need it specifically for your wedding and you want to smell unique you want something spicy earthy that's not going to be so floral, so feminine, and so typical, then I'll give you a 10 out of 10. In terms of the pleasantness of the fragrance, if I had just the fragrances, not the bottle, and I poured them all, all my fragrances and stuff, the actual scent alone, not thinking about what you're using it for and how it works for certain occasions, I would give the actual scent an 8 out of 10. But you can do a 10 out of 10 if it aligns with what you would want for your wedding. It's good for date night, um, in the evening, and it's really good for a wedding if that's what you're looking for, something that's spicy, um, uh, unique, and has a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. It's deep. Um, yeah, that'll be good fragrance. On to the next one. So there we have it. This gorgeous bottle. I don't even want to put it down, but yep. All right, next one is the next Marc Jacobs scent. This is 3.4 ounces. Um, Sephora is not selling this size they smell they sell the thinner shorter size like maybe chopped off here okay mm, that one's nice this is the eau de toilette i did not realize that the daisy dream by mark jacobs bottle is elegant i did not realize that the daisy dream by mark jacobs did um only came in the eau de toilette to my understanding it is nice. It is. Let me let me focus on the scent first, then I'll get into what the thing actually what the description says. Mm, yeah, that's nice. This one is a. I sprayed a little bit more. This is a lighter scent. Eau de toilette. I may just think that because I know it's an eau de toilette, but I actually sprayed it this morning, and when I sprayed it the second time later in the day. It lasted, but when I compared the two scents early on, like I noticed that this one um, didn't last as long. So you would have to reapply. However, I even, I even, I hadn't smelled this perfume in so long, but I was like, I am going to. I was like, I almost consider using this as my wedding fragrance just based on a bottle. I was like, let me smell it first, but I had already purchased the other two that I talked to you about. Um, mm, yes, okay. This one is, you can kind of tell which, which that I really love, but let's talk about the bottle first. This is gorgeous. So you would want to do this fragrance if this aligns with your aesthetic for your wedding. The aesthetic will work for anything. It's more so the coloring of the fragrance. So it's a light blue, pale blue, sky blue even. I wouldn't say baby blue. It seems like it's almost like a... It's definitely blue, but depending on what I have behind it, it's almost looking periwinkle, but it's not periwinkle, I don't think. It's it's light blue. This is beautiful. It reminds me of another fragrance. I don't know if it's the color, like a Clinique or some fragrance back in the day. So Eau de Toilette, I guess you can say it's like your splash, like a splash, right? Or like, mm. oh my God, it smells ugh, berries when I smell in the bottle. Okay. This one, you're going to think it's light just by how it looks. It's like a lighter scent, but there's depth there too. But just in terms of what you're looking for, this bottle, like this is my top two for what you would purchase if you're looking for a beautiful um, look, appearance for your wedding photos. Or you're getting ready pictures. Like I said, you put your shoes there. You put your um, your wedding invitation. You might put some flowers there. You would have your rings. You might have some of your wedding jewelry there. This would go so wonderfully. In my case, I don't have blue as one of my colors. I'm actually more on the pink, like baby I'm not gonna tell you pink is actually not my wedding but kind of like what this is like you know blue that is not my color whatsoever um actually now that I think about it no it, it is my, my fiance is actually wearing blue but it's just like oh this wasn't like one of the wedding colors you know so it's just oh, I was I really want I was like I almost considered this I was like maybe I don't I don't have to buy another fragrance right like I was like I got this, this is gorgeous 
this is the top two this the bottle just reminds me of a wedding like this is just wedding gorgeous it's elegant it's not too flashy no it's not too like it's not too bold like it's not going to like distract from the wedding photo but look at the thumbnail you'll see like how elegant it looked like based on that thumbnail that's not my thumbnail i believe i took it from sephora but wow and the one in the picture i think is a 1.7 ounce this is beautiful this is a gorgeous bottle you probably some people are probably like what the heck is she talking about that's not gorgeous no it is i just love the contrast of the white daisies and then there is that light blue it looks beautiful against each other the top is like it's really silver i've had this for about the same amount of time i think this i got this shortly after the lola and I, my mom purchased this one for me mm, oh my gosh it is mm, it reminds me it makes sense why it's daisy dream whoever created this it smells like i guess you could say like a cloud like a nice cloudy smell mm, berries this is a beautiful scent. You would potentially have to reapply. Um, I would say, let's say you have your ceremony at like 11. Mm, let's say your ceremony is at like 4 p.m. Um, and then you're, you have your wedding reception through like 9 p.m. You would want to reapply like um, maybe during dinner time. So let's see, four or five, six. So that if your whole event is like five hours, no, you probably would not need to reapply actually. But if it's, let's say you have like a, let's say the time frame is like seven hours, you would want to reapply about halfway through. I can't see this really lasting without, honestly, with this, I'd recommend you spray a lot and then it would last you longer. But if you just spray it normally, you probably would want to reapply at the fourth hour, just so you don't have to reapply later on in the evening and but if your whole event's like five hours you wouldn't need to reapply i wouldn't think oh i'm trying to get like the the base of this it's um definitely floral for sure it's like a fresh light scent but there's like some creaminess to it mm. I don't know if it's vanilla, but like I I get like a champagne-y scent, like that cloudiness. Mm, I definitely get berry when I'm smelling this. It's an older toilet, so you know, just keep in mind it's not gonna have like that depth, that concentrated scent right off the bat. And mind you, I've had this for so long and I it's still it still didn't like I still didn't feel like that oh it was so concentrated or something like that when I sprayed it when I was comparing the two a few hours later mm, this one for sure is not super complicated but there's something to it like where you 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 smell and they're like wait there's something more there it's floral but I get like a light and fresh scent but not like a you it, there's some depth It's like creamy, like cake almost, but it's not super sweet. It's like, oh yeah, there's a cream. There's like some cream there, like a vanilla creamy base. And then there might be some woodsiness to it too. Like that warmth. And then berries. So yeah, this is a, I don't know if I would say it's so, so feminine. It is, it's a nice scent. It's, it's nice. It smells good. I would highly recommend this as your wedding fragrance based on the bottle alone if that's what you're going for. Um, bottle, 10 out of 10. Um, what you could use this fragrance for outside of your wedding. Um, hmm, this one's hard to place. Um, I wouldn't say like your everyday work say, fragrance. You could, it's, but it's, no, I think it's too strong. It's too, yeah, not strong in terms of like how people say loud, strong in terms of like, oh, that you're going to notice that scent. Um, I wouldn't do this as your everyday fragrance. 
you can do like a shopping fragrance. You could do it like when you go out and about. Um, errands, brunch, nice daytime wedding, um, evening. Sure, why not for like an evening wedding? Definitely recommend it. But yeah, I'm getting like oh my gosh, I'm getting like a spring day, um, maybe summer. Like this is a nice vacation scent, I think. This one is pretty cheap right now. Um, I saw like $70 on Walmart for the, I think it was a 3.4 ounce Bon Sephora. I believe um, the 1.7, which is half the size is like just under a hundred. So I don't know what that means why Walmart is selling it for cheap compared to Sephora. Is it real? I hope so online. Mm. I don't want to get like French vibes from this one. Like it's, it's elegant. The most elegant eau de toilet. Eau de toilet, I know they do that for men a lot, but. Frenchy French. Yeah, I just get like creamy. Like if you're a, um, I didn't talk about like the, the age range, but if you're into if age range, I would say. Young lady. I would say early 20s and up, 23 through Yeah, most age ranges could wear this. 23, but I'm getting more the vibe. This is like a a signature scent for a 25 to 35-year-old. Or just pretty much the age range that you think of like woman, right? Like, oh, that's a woman, 25 through 35. Someone might just someone might disagree, but like that's probably the age range where it's like, oh, you're very fertile. Like your your life is starting. You're getting married. You're um gonna have children. Like that age range, I'd say. You just like the way it's designed, right? Then the scent that goes along with it. Mm, I can see you wearing this like to your baby shower too, your first child. Mm, pretty birthday scent too, but I would say. Lola is also a pretty birthday scent. Ooh, I like it even more now than Lola. Mm -hmm. They're both great birthday scents. Um, but yeah, like it's just gorgeous. Feminine. A 40 year old for sure could still wear this scent as well. But I think just based on the bottle design, like that's also what makes me really feel like up to like that 35 age range. Mind you, I'm 34. But like bridal, bridal. Aside from age, like throw that out the window. If you're getting married, it doesn't matter your age. This is a perfect bridal scent. 50, bridal scent. 60, bridal scent. It's beautiful. I think the bottle's kind of playful. But yeah, let me go into what is online at the Sephora website. So I described the scent, I think, as much as I could. Um. Also, this one's not super complicated, I don't think. Okay. Let's check it out. Let me check again. Mm. there's another there's a fruit in here uh, not peach but I'm getting like Bellini like if there's like a fruity champagne or like a bubbly drink not, it's not bubbly but there's a if there's a scent that you would normally put in like fizzy drinks not grape I don't think mm, okay let's figure it out but there's something not peach Definitely want to say strawberries in there, but yeah, that's I just wanted to give you the profile of what I thought before I find it. Look at it, find it. Let me look at it. Um, where is it? I know I thought I, I thought I had it. I thought I had the Sephora website pulled up for it. Let me find it. I might have used that for the. Yeah, I used that tab to do some additional research on uh, Mark Jacobs Lola. Okay, so. Really not sure why um, why Sephora doesn't have the larger size. It's out of stock for whatever reason. I don't even see it listed. Normally, if it's out of stock, it'll just have it slashed, like a line slashed through it. But it's not even listed, so maybe they stopped making it. The... The other size bottles, the 1.0 ounce and the 1.7 ounce, pretty much just looks like... It's pretty much 
cut cut this entire bottom portion off and it's like just half half the blue part all right so this is the eau de toilette spray the fragrance family is floral scent type is fruity floral key notes are blackberry jasmine flower and white woods i think i don't know if i said woods for this one or the other one i think i did to the booty i don't know yeah i think i did light and airy definitely light i said clouds right um daisy dream captivates with us delicate delectably fruity and floral personality from the first hints of blackberry fresh grapefruit yes i did i say that there was like something in there that, oh, there was something in there that like smelled like fruit but wasn't super sweet um a succulent pear pear again daisy dream so sorry from the first first hints of blackberry fresh grapefruit and succulent pear Daisy Dream draws you in with her easy charm and an irresistibly feminine mix of jasmine flower, lychee, lychee, and blue wisteria. The fragrance lingers on the skin, drying down to a dreamy finish of white woods, musk, and an elusive hint of coconut water. That makes complete sense because there's something in there that is like, you know it's there, you just can't describe it. Um... And maybe that's what I was thinking in terms of like, there's something in there like you would put in a drink. Um, this free-spirited fruity floral scent is the creation of master perfumer Alberto Marias, Marilas. Strown with delicate daisies. Talking about the bottle now, but this one I like, so I'll talk about. Strown with delicate daisies on its shoulders and cap, the clear glass bottle reveals a sky blue fragrance, the color of a dream. Um, yeah, that makes sense. It's, it's very nice. Um, I highly recommend that one. And, um, yeah, I hopefully that this review helps you in terms of what fragrance you're going to try. If you're looking for a beautiful bottle over anything else, um, if you have any questions, let me know, but they, they last pretty long. You can always reapply them. Um, you can find them online to, you know, see if this one's discontinued or not, but there's places you can buy, there's no problem. Um, you can probably get really good deals on these online. Um, Sephora, that's where I usually buy my scents and stuff, but just based on these being older scents, you may want to check check it out for check out somewhere else. Um, but yeah, that's my review on these. Hopefully, this helped you out. Um, I love you all. Have a great day. Please send me questions at the email that I placed below. Look, I'm I would love to answer questions and just give you my perspective. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye.